basically the bottoming signal will act as resistance on the way up gets a fake out comes slowly back down the next targets also based on fibonacci extensions it looks like that the worst finally is over for us and bitcoin is ready to go back to the upside but we need to be careful here while we are going back up i will show you the exact levels that we need to watch right now to get confirmation that Bitcoin is ready to move back into bull market territory. Let's go. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in here again. Uh, we start off again with Japan, unfortunately, because if Japan continues to go down, everything will still continue to go down. We need to talk about this uh, as boring as it might B. So the Nikkei got a massive bounce back to the upside um, today from its low here. Actually, when you go to a four hourly chart, you see here when we opened. So the Nikkei bounced from its low yesterday 14.65% back to the upside. So only today in that candle, we bounced over 6%. And if I go to the four hourly chart, we are still up from the low roughly 10 percent that was earlier looking already a little bit worse so but it looks like that we are creating here also some sort of a v-shape recovery but that is not the v-shape recovery that you clicked on uh, that is just uh, a potential for another v-shape recovery here on the nikkei so if the nikkei continues to go up over the next couple of days or it just continues to go gradually sideways that is fine that is basically the bottoming signal for the Nikkei telling us that the worst is potentially over of the unwinding of that Nikkei trade and from that carry trade. When we're going to the US dollar uh, and Japanese yen chart, also here we see a bounce in the yen back to the upside. Here is right now currently a big resistance level that was prior support. So the Japanese yen needs to break here above 146 um, and then continue to go up to fully reverse. So today we could see the first sign of a reversal candle if we close today's candle as it is and tomorrow continue to go to the upside. That will most likely be the nail in the coffin that we need uh, to confirm a reversal here back to the upside. Also with a potential V-shape recovery. So will this V-shape be playing out over a couple of days? No, of course not. This will take a couple of weeks in my opinion after uh, a three trillion dollar market uh, basically got wiped you know, so or um the bill basically yeah so they got more or less the bill that they need to pay up now so why is the nikkei so important today because the nikkei uh, bou uh, bounced more than 10 percent after the worst day in 30 years to the downside and now we moved up to the potential best day in uh since 2008 I had to think about this. So 2008. So in 16 years, over the last 16 days, uh, 16 years, we had not such an amazing day for the Nikkei as today, which is crazy when you think about it. You know, so yesterday we had the worst day in 30 years. Today we have the best day in 16 years. So tell me about uh, the stock markets cannot be volatile like crypto. You know, like a shitcoin. So it also happens here. Now when we go to Bitcoin, CME gap is still here, and I believe that. The CME gap is still acting as a magnet for price to come up here really, really soon. And it might catch a lot of people off guard when you see here uh, the price pushing uh, back above $62,000 quite quickly. That, do I think that this is going to happen potentially this week? It could be, but I'm going to show you now some booby traps that are in the chart um, that might stall the whole process just a little bit. First of all, when we're looking at the Bitcoin correction, uh, you have to understand that this consolidation correctional phase, in my opinion, will not end before the last week of August. Last week of August, early September, around that time frame, we are going to leave that correctional phase. And this will be then the longest correctional phase in the cycle so far. Uh, with a total drawdown of 34.05% uh, from the top to the bottom here. And yeah, I think we need to live with the fact that uh, we're going to be stuck here another three to six weeks. Is that now really bad for us while we are here already in it since the end of February? 
doesn't really matter anymore. We can wait another three, four, five weeks potentially before we get uh, a new all-time high. I'm absolutely fine with that. Potentially, it will happen even later than that. But um, I believe it is in the realm of possibility that we see this in the next three to six weeks unfolding. But for that to be happening, we need to get above here the um, super trend on the MDX algo. Right now, it is creating a bearish trend because we're going here into the red. And this um, area will act as resistance on the way up. So here, $61,000 more or less will act as big, big, big resistance. So this is also at um, from the current low. That is our mid-range level in that correctional phase when you look at it. So this will be really, really strong resistance to break for Bitcoin. And we're going to need a lot of buying power to push immediately through that when we come back up. So don't be surprised if Bitcoin comes to the upside, gets a fake out, comes slowly back down goes sideways and only then continues to go uh, to the upside. Wouldn't be surprised at all to see something like this unfolding. The RSI here on the daily chart is at a peak low level that usually marks a bottom and a big reversal. That's also something that I wanted to show you guys. You see here the current candle, the RSI is at 27, 26.96%, so 27% more or less. And every time when we come here, under the 30% mark, it usually marks uh, a local bottom. Look here, also here, there, we went under 30%. Here was a week to the downside, we rallied back to the upside. So I expect here something similar over the next coming days that we're going to see a massive rally to the upside. Also, when we go back here further in, into the past, look at this here. In August last year, big drop to the downside. We marked here also a level of roughly 18% on the RSI went on to go a little bit sideways, got a big move to the upside. Also here, slightly under 30%, basically where we are right now. Um, that marked the lower high, sorry, uh, the higher low, the higher low from our cycle low. Here at $20,000, then we reversed back to the upside. Here, the cycle low, um, $15,500. Again, slightly under 30% on the RSI, went sideways for a while, pushed then to the upside. I expect nothing less right now because we are uh, seeing here RSI showing strength to the upside. Here we need to break above the 40% level to get confirmation, uh, but price should reflect that with a move back above $60,000. The first level to overtake here is obviously 56,600, but once we are above that, um, here on the volume profile, the next biggest area of interest would be up here around $63,000 as a uh, big, big, big resistance. But don't forget what I showed you on the other chart. $61,000 is also, uh, because it's a mid-range level, uh, really, really crucial. So 61 and 63 in these steps, we are going to trade this. In terms of monthly returns, now we can say August is a bad month. I don't believe that we're going to eradicate all the losses that we have occurred. But when I look at prior bull markets, it is not that bad for this bull market. So here in 2016, we were down 7.5% roughly. And then in, um, okay, 2012 is not shown here, but in 2020, we were up 2.83%. I believe we will be somewhere around 7%, 8% by the end of August uh, in a loss on a month on month. And then September will be again positive for us, unless there's another crazy black swan event happening that nobody is accounting for. Uh, like Trump gets shot again, you know, so or he, uh, somebody drives over him, I don't know, you know, so something in that realm, you know, so if something like this happens, then we're going to have another bad month in September. But unless this is not happening, I expect that uh, September will be for us positive and then the rest of the year will be highly positive. When we're going here to this daily chart, a really important support level that we currently need to hold is here in that bull flag formation, this downward sloping trend line. Here, also good news guys, the indicators are all showing us that we are high, heavily overextended. Uh, the MACD is of course still bearish, but I expect by tomorrow to get a lighter red candle, worst case within the next 48 hours. Stochastic RSI is highly oversold and the RSI is giving us already early reversal signs. So here the trajectory is most likely that we come up into this resistance here of $60,000, $61,000, get rejected, come a little bit lower, 
find momentum to break above it, retest it, then we continue to trade higher. Sometimes it's just good to zoom out a little bit, especially in these kind of scenarios. And as long as we are holding here this downward sloping trend line, um, I'm not so concerned about lower levels. So lose here, once again, the 50 $3,800 level, we should then get concerned a little bit if we close the daily candle uh, below that level here. So, but we technically did not really do this yesterday. So, okay, slightly yesterday we were below this, but not, not a lot. And um, both stepped in and pushed it back here to the upside for us. Then uh, here on the Elliott wave count, uh, I want to show you uh, the next targets also based on Fibonacci extensions. And here you will see that the next level is $57,051, the 0.382. But the massive level that Bitcoin is going here to retest will be the $62,725 $62, level. So if you're currently in a Bitcoin trade, that would be my target, my first target, where I would take some profits. And I believe that here is now a new Elliott wave count forming. Here, the one will most likely go up to 0.5, to close to $60,000, retrace back to the 0.382 or close to it, and then we start the third wave. So, and usually the third wave, remember, is extended uh, and way longer than the first wave. But I will also not uh, neglect the fact that the first wave could be only completed at the golden ratio. So, with Elliott wave counts, it's a little bit complicated. So, we need to basically see how high we get. Uh, in that current uptrend of Bitcoin until we get a proper pullback. And then we know, okay, here's the one, two, uh, we need to wait to complete the two. When we have one and two, then we can determine approximately where three is based on Fibonacci extension levels. So, and we're going to get there. It will just a little, uh, take a little bit of time. But here for Bitcoin, for Bitcoin, I believe that we are going to see a nice V-shape recovery. So the neckline is the technical target. And that is $64,800 approximately. So where would I enter a trade now if I would be not in a Bitcoin trade and did not caught here any of these levels? Remember what I told you, I bought at 52, 50, um, and then I wanted to buy at 48. I did not get it, but I got the other levels. So now if you are looking for a trade for a long position, I would wait that we potentially come back to $53,900. So basically $1,000 lower. And then this becomes your trade setup. And I take here this wick of this candle as the stop loss. And that will give me a 16% uh, move to the upside, a 3% move to the downside. You just need to wait that price comes to us uh, for a move back to the upside. Why do I believe that price will come back here? Because there is a small there is an imbalance. Oh no, there's actually no imbalance anymore. Here also this imbalance is closed, but here's still another imbalance, not completely closed. And this is this one here. So if we are losing here, this current price level as support, we will come down here to get, to wick us in into our position. And then as you can see, here is an imbalance, a footprint uh, to balance out the chart the, and the order book where price will at least come up to $58,000. And once we're up here, I believe we are going to flip this into support and continue to trend higher. So that's what I'm looking at uh, when it comes to Bitcoin trades. So where do I going to trade this? Uh, for once, I'm going to open a trade here on Zoomex, guys. Remember, you get $10 for free. If you would enter this trade with $10, you use 10x leverage. That would mean you can potentially make here $160 on that trade. So don't neglect that, guys, you know, so, uh, sorry, $16, $16. Don't neglect that. From 10 to $16 is then $26. From 26, you go to 50, from 50 to 100. This can snowball really quick. Don't neglect this, guys. And of course, you also get still a deposit bonus of $45,000 with the link in the description and the pin coin below. So go and check this out. In terms of liquidation levels, below us, of course, some degenerate people over leveraged again themselves here around the $52,000 level um, with long positions. But the direction move is, you cannot deny it, is to the upside. All the density of liquidity is sitting above us right now. Below us is almost nothing anymore that makes sense to be taken out. So where does price need to move to the upside? And here, I did not move any of these Fibonacci retracement levels. Look here, 
Again, 57,000, 57,350 is an important level. There is this also the 0.382 on the daily chart. Don't uh, forget this. And this is in alignment with the uh, EMA ribbon with the lower end of it. So here I also expect a retest of the ribbon. Usually we get rejected from there. Then we go to the upside. When we're looking at liquidation levels uh, here on the heat map, where the liquidity is concentrated currently, then also here you see below us is almost nothing. And the highest concentration is here around $72,400 and $70,000. There alone between these two levels is over $10 billion worth of liquidity sitting right now uh, that market makers definitely going to target over the next coming weeks and months. Hence uh, why it is a good time to buy for your long-term bags and also for your mid-term bags. And if you want to trade short term, I'm also going to give you some altcoin trades and going to show you um, where we are going to enter these. Now, the Bitcoin dominance is moving to the downside. Remember, we were talking about this yesterday that I hoped that we are going to topping out here with this candle and we got our reversal candle. We got a shooting star to the downside. Now, I need more downside in today's candle. I don't want to leave the candle as it is. It's not looking pretty, even though it would still complete the reversal pattern, but I want that the candle body closes somewhere here. So that would be way, way, way more bullish for altcoins if we see that because that would then also mean that tomorrow potentially we get a nice candle uh, here a proper candle to the downside and altcoins will then get also their proper bounce um, that we would like to see now when it comes to the RSI heat map for altcoins when you go to the daily chart for the last 24 hours you see you can basically long more or less everything right now with super super low leverage want to warn you here not too much i would not use more than like 5x currently and 5x might be even still too much you know three to four x um on these positions and really almost everything is right now ready to long you also see that on the funding rates look here so many coins are right now negative funding rates which is insane which is also telling you the market is heavily oversold and uh, uh, at least a debt can bounce um, is here short term definitely in the cards for us. So we see some coins already bouncing, but I think a way, way bigger bounce is coming here over the next coming days, as long as the Japanese market is not going crazy here again, or Iran starts a war with Israel. That's the other thing. So where I'm going to trade my altcoin trades, I will do, is, uh, do this on Bybit. And if you need money for this, guys, $500, free airdrop position you only need to deposit a hundred dollars go and claim your free 500 hundred dollar position you can trade all these coins that are listed here bitcoin ethereum solana pepper dogecoin audi arbitrum jupiter ethereum classic and phantom these are the coins that you can trade with that and remember guys out of 500 dollars you can really, really quickly make a bigger amount like two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars go and take advantage of that the link is in the description and in the pin coin below guys uh, if i would have no money I will I would take anything that exchanges give me for free right now to build liquidity. Imagine you get you take everything what you can find in the description, which is for free. You will end up with like three, four, five thousand dollars worth of liquidity. Now you can trade with this money and all the profits belong to you. So if you trade with five thousand dollars, you make five thousand dollars. You are caught a 100 percent trade. This five thousand dollars is now yours. Now you have ten thousand dollars that you can trade with the five thousand initial across all the exchanges plus 5,000 that you just made across different exchanges. And that can spiral really, really quick to a huge amount, guys. So don't neglect that. That's why I'm telling you all the time, take whatever you can. Let me get the best deals for you um, that you can actually make here nice life-changing money in this cycle. When I look at Ethereum, also here, the RSI is at levels that we have not seen for a long time. Also here, reversal in progress right now. What I would be targeting, $2,700 to $2,860 as the first target, because here is big, big, big resistance. That was a big, big, big support previously. So that's why it should normally be now a strong resistance. I would not risk to hold a position because we could get uh, slammed down here one more time before we then break through this. But if you have a long-term position um, on leverage and it's like 3, 4x, you should be fine. You know, I um, I would not potentially close anything of that position. I would keep holding this uh, past uh, $4,000. And the same with a spot position there. You don't need to worry about it, you know. So, but if you sculpt trade this here to the upside um, with more than 5x, 
take profit up here, raise your stop losses, make sure that you don't get wicked out. Then Solana. Solana is actually showing a lot of strength here. We have almost completed the V-shape recovery. The V-shape recovery will be completed once we are breaking above the golden ratio here, $146.85. Uh, um, we are almost there uh, to complete the first part of the V-shape recovery. Uh, of course, the big V-shape recovery would be something like this here. Um, that's why I'm talking about the first part of it would be completed by flipping that Fibonacci uh, golden ratio here into support for continuation to the upside. Um, we can potentially even talk about an inverse head and shoulders pattern with a left shoulder here, uh, head here, and the right shoulder would be then something really small, something like this here. And that would give us a target of like $250 approximately. Here on the four hourly chart, we are a little bit overextended. The RSI is also showing uh, momentum slowing down, but this is because we are here in that former support area uh, that we are trying to hold right now, which also has acted as resistance on the way back up. And that's why we are struggling. And also the stochastic RSI is uh, overbought here. But on the daily chart, there's still a lot of momentum to the upside. So we just got started here, basically, you know, so watch this over the next couple of days. This will go really quick back to 150, uh, 150, $160 in my opinion. Then also uh, Telegram, amazing. We came down here into the extension of the Fibonacci retracement levels. I told you when we get into the extension, you should buy um, potentially a little bit lower below $5. I bought below $5 at like $4.93, I think. So I'm already up 10%, uh, a little bit more than 10% uh, on my position here. Also, again, the 0 0.618 is the target uh, of that move here right now back to the upside. We could chop here also a little bit sideways before we get here the proper move. And this is again because of Stochastic being overbought, MACD just giving us a buy signal, RSI going sideways. Uh, so I'm not surprised. But again here, when you zoom out and look at the daily charts, um, things look much, much more bullish here uh, for continuation to the to the upside. So it definitely depends on the horizon um, that you are looking at. Um, then GRT is one that I just bought today on spot. I will be honest, I bought on spot because we got the TP signal here from the MDX algo gradient. Um, and we are heavily in the green here on the daily chart. So which is also an indication for me that we are potentially starting to reverse now back to the upside. We are heavily oversold on the stochastic RSI, on the RSI and the MACD is also extremely uh, bearish here. I believe that the imminent target will be here on the MDX algo indicators, the supply zone up here of 20 cents. I will take profit around 15 cents, 50, uh, 57 because you see here with the Fibonacci extensions, now on the way back up from resistance to, uh, to support, the 0 0.382 is one of the levels that we need to break here uh, to continue to go to the upside. So, and here's also some resistance. Uh, if I would draw here a line like, uh, sorry, see here, there, there is some resistance in that level. That's why on spot, I'm gonna take some profit here if we get a pullback, um, then I'm going to enter lower and then I continue to write this up to like 20 cents. This is how I'm personally going to play this. Again, if you want the MDX algo uh, indicators, guys, which help me to make a lot of money, then go in the description below. You get the 10% discount only with my link, guys. Only with my link, 10% discount because I negotiated that with the founder for you and you will not get this anywhere else. So go and take advantage of that because also here on, um, here on Arweave, we got a TP signal for the short setup on the daily. And that is also an indication that Arweave is ready to go back to the upside here. Uh, I'm waiting just for the downward sloping trend line here on the uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement levels to be broken to enter that position. And then I'm going to trade this into the golden ratio here at uh, $30, which is in alignment with a big resistance level here. And also uh, the last hottest phase here on the MDX algo gradient is uh, coming from that area. Uh, and that's it already for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure that you smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you with more profits tomorrow.